there, Gracie Ruth, social media manager, strategist, and trainer. Today, I'm going to show you how to get organized, how to uh, um, plan out your content for 30 days and ditch the overwhelm. Yes, this can be done and you can ditch the stress. There, Gracie Ruth social media manager strategist and trainer today i'm going to show you how to get organized how to uh, um, plan out your content for 30 days and ditch the overwhelm yes this can be done and you can ditch the stress And you would ask me, why would I need to get organized? Content marketing is a tool that helps you plan out your content in advance. Organization is key to being productive. And I'm sure you already know this, but uh, sometimes we need to get um, reminded of. It solves the challenge of planning, publishing, and sharing content. And there are different ways of uh content uh we create our, our creating our content anything we publish uh, uh any content that we publish um uh, that is produced for our brand for our our products and services is content that uh original content that you created and it needs to be shared this is part of having a visibility and being consistent on social media uh, repurpose. We must repurpose our content. One blog post can be uh, repurposed into several different things and you don't have to work on creating more content. So for instance, you probably have content in your blog archives, in your social media pages that you can repurpose and publish again. Now the repurpose and ideas. Here's a, a, a good way to look at it. You can create a video or audio basis on your blog post past blog posts that you uh, sh created you know a year ago uh, six months ago three months ago turn your most popular tips into social media into in, on social media into a blog post look for the most popular blog post and spin them into a new blog post yes it's like like um recycling your content publish your Blog posts on Medium. Yes, that is a huge platform. And there's more, more people out there that you can learn about your products or services. Turn your blog post into a newsletter. There's so much we can do. Okay, here's a sample. A blog post, a, uh, a blog post can turn into a video, a podcast, or a broadcast. For, for instance, uh, one blog post can be turned into um, five tweetables and include a graphics. It could turn into five, five Facebook posts with graphics. It could be five Instagram posts with graphics, and it could be five pins with graphics. All this equals to 20 social media posts. That alone uh, helps you to uh, not worry that you're not present, that you're not consistent, that you haven't uh, been in your social media business page for a while. Now, the benefits of creating original content. You become an expert in your niche. It helps you bring traffic from social media into your website because that's like our storefront and we want them to be there. And uh, it builds credibility and it builds rapport so that you can build the uh, like, no, and trust factors, which is very important. Okay, now we divide and separate our content into buckets. This is similar to when we do uh, laundry. We, you know, we separate the whites from the darks and the delicates from, you know, other heavy uh, uh, laundry. So we separate it into blog posts, social media, newsletters, contests, videos, behind the scenes. People like to see the behind the scenes. Announcements, quotes, promotions, Q&A, and OPS, which is other people's shareables. Tips and tricks. The people ask me, when is the, the right time to post or the frequency of uh, each platform? Each platform works different. 
So the frequency for Facebook is one to three times a day. If you can do more, that is the better. Instagram is twice a day. If you do more than that, then it becomes spam. Twitter is five to six times, uh, six to ten times a day. If you can do more, best. Uh, YouTube is one once a week. But if you want to build an audience, if you have, um, yeah, if you want to build an audience, you share once a day. G Plus is twice a day. LinkedIn once a day because each platform works different, and we don't want to spam our audience. And uh, Pinterest is eight to times, eight to fifteen times a day. Now, after we selected what goes where, we put it into a calendar. This is my calendar, and I color code it so I know which part goes where. And um, having it in different colors helps me to visualize this better. Uh, and um, you know, I post it in different days so I know what goes where and when. If you feel like you learned something, this video tutorial was informational, was of value. Please like, comment, and share. And remember to subscribe to my channel so you get notified uh, when I post new uh, videos here. So, see you soon. Thank you.